Hey, it's Clay. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a little bit of a tone test here. Uh, this time I'm not using my XFX. Instead I'm running through my pedal board. Why don't we take a quick look. So the idea here is that I wanted to have something that's inexpensive, um, yet that can be very effective. So the, the, right now I'm running through this G Telemaster. This has got a warmth neck. Um, and some Tele slash Jazzmaster body. Lindy Freeland pickups. Love that guitar. This is one of my homemade fuzz faces, germanium fuzz faces. It has a bias knob. So a lot of times with fuzz faces, you'll hear them talk about the importance of biasing the circuit. Well, I have the bias knob on top. The fuzz knob actually does not exist because I just put a resistor there to max. So the fuzz is set at maximum all the time. We've got a volume knob. And then this guy is actually... A, um, there are two input capacitors, and so basically it's kind of like a fat versus bright uh, roll-off switch. So right now it's in the fattest position, which is the authentic fuzz face. But then if you want something that's more cutting for lead playing, you can turn it to the right. Really enjoy that pedal. It's Brothers over there, but that one, the battery died. So got an earning ball volume pedal, which I really need to mod. But um, to compensate, I'm actually boosting a little bit in the G3. The, but the volume pedals, what they do is they actually sit, split your signal into parallel with the... There's two jacks there. It's just really obnoxious. But anyways, out from there into the Joyo Ultimate Drive, which I absolutely love that pedal. Uh, it might be based off an OD, OSCD, but full tone OCD, but who knows. And this is the Pure Sky from K-Line. Really good boost. You can see I have the gain set really low, but a lot of level. Into the Zoom G3, which I currently have set... Let's double check... Okay, nothing is going in the front, and then we have a that eight delay, quarter note delay, arena reverb. Oh boy. That's pretty much right. And then an HD reverb that's on all the time. Set pretty low. And then into, this is my newest pedal actually, a TC Electronic T2 reverb. And this thing basically just does ambient delays into a ditto looper. Tap tempo into the Epiphone Valve Junior. So this thing is pretty sweet. I've modded it. You can check my videos for that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.